You think it's a schooner? I don't think it's a scuttle. It left its harbor on its trip and didn't make it to its destination. The whole story to this ship's journey and this ship's life is laying on the bottom right underneath us. All we have to do is find it. I am Nicole Ellard. My name is Mike Peterson. My name is Kelsey Verney. I'm Keith. I'm a volunteer on this project. I'm the owner of Double Action Dive Charters. I'm the co-captain of Sequest 2. And I'm the one who found this mysterious shipwreck. Let's go diving. Jeffy, let's go. I was en route to one of the dive sites and I happened to look on the sonar and lo and behold, I say, is that a shipwreck? There's 3,000 wrecks in Lake Michigan. It looked distinctly like a shipwreck shape. And there's 300 wrecks off of Chicago. It's a proud moment for a captain or a shipwreck explorer to, to find something. We know where 40 or 50 of them are. First thoughts be the first one on it was, we got one. My second impression was just that it was incredibly well preserved. One of the first things I saw was the big anchor. This one was quite overwhelming because there were huge artifacts, things I'd never seen on any of the wreck sites that I'd do. And then we came across the captain's wheel and I mean, it was just, it's just incredible. There's definitely a concern of looting. Uh, shipwrecks are cool. People really, really like to take components off of shipwrecks. They think that it looks better in their garage or in their basement. The goal is to preserve the shipwreck intact as it is. It is illegal to take things. And um, yeah, you know, we really hope that, you know, a lot of those hardcore old school wreck divers kind of leave it alone, let it lie, and, uh, and let everybody else start to enjoy it for the long longevity of the whole duration. We feel that there's a handful of possibilities when we look at the history and everything like that and the location of what it could be. Um, we still have a little ways to go before we have any idea what it might be though to uncover it. I think that as long as we keep diving on this wreck, we will be able to say what it is for certain. In a hundred years, these wrecks are not gonna exist anymore. We're not just taking data for us. We are taking data for the historical record.